Arriving at the Portal del Norte station, the rush for the express buses is on. For 64-year-old driver Jorge Gachana, this is the most demanding time. He's taking more than 250 passengers all the way across Bogotá in his three-section articulated bus. The responsibility is like that of an airline pilot, he says, and he greets his passengers almost like one. Hello and welcome. Thank you for using our rapid transit system. For your safety, we've put a lot of care into our work. Have a good afternoon and God bless you. God's blessing and specially designated bus lanes ensure that the passengers drive right past the constant congestion in the Colombian capital. Anyone wanting to avoid dealing with Bogotá's hellish traffic takes one of the 1,400 or so Transmienio buses. We use only special diesel fuel with Euro 2 and Euro 3 emission standards. That's improved the air quality considerably. Because of Transmienio, the number of vehicles on the streets declined and so has pollution. Transmienio, the rapid transit bus system, carries about a million and a half passengers daily, something only rail services can usually do. Its network of routes has expanded to more than 100 kilometers. Bogota is a role model for gridlocked cities. Traffic expert Carlos Pardo says about a hundred cities worldwide want to emulate the concept. The express bus system is much more economical than building a metro system. It's transformed the local transport system completely. There used to be an unregulated bus service on the Transmienio routes. These drivers have all been trained to provide a professional news service on the same routes with better vehicles and better operation. Mejoraron los vehículos, mejoraron la operación. The notorious Cala Septima in Bogotá. There's no Transmienio here. Thousands of privately organized bus drivers compete for customers every day. Bus stops, timetables, environmental standards, not a chance. Some 19,000 private buses, many of them antiquated, still pollute the air of the megacity with its 10 million residents. It will take a long time before the changeover is complete. There are still a great number of bus owners and lots of routes. We have to reach agreement with all these people. Their vehicles have to be decommissioned and scrapped. New buses have to be ordered. All that takes time, and Bogotá is in the midst of a process. Bogotá's inhabitants are still suffering from the exhaust fumes. The severe air pollution makes many people ill. That's why the city in the Andes is extending the Transmienio network even further. Colombia wants to be greener and reduce its carbon footprint. Carlos Pardo advises officials in the Transport Ministry on behalf of the German Agency for International Cooperation, the GIZ. The plan is to use the Transmienio concept for freight traffic as well, because the logistics sector is one of the country's biggest air polluters. We have a fleet of between 280,000 and 300,000 trucks. About 60% of them are over 30 years old, so much of the fleet is out of date. Many of the old vehicles come from the US, where they were decommissioned years ago. But in Colombia, they're driven for decades. Freight transport accounts for more than half of the country's vehicle emissions. 
the government wants to get the polluters off the roads. A state scrappage bonus is aimed at providing an incentive for truck owners. Most of them are small business owners and have just one vehicle. Competition between the truck owners is fierce. On the one hand, I'd like a new model, but I'm frightened about the debts and how much it would cost me. The government is paying bonuses of up to 30,000 euros, depending on the size of the vehicle. Jorge Carrillo from the Transport Ministry monitors the operation. He estimates about 90,000 climate-unfriendly trucks are set to be scrapped in the coming years. We want to start decommissioning trucks. The focus is mainly on small trucks like those we see here. Nowadays, using them makes no economic sense either. Some of the dilapidated vehicles are more than 60 years old. Their end is at least environmentally friendly. The metal is reused so that they don't just end up in the scrapyard.